Derek Barnett. Fun fact, Rich from Review Tech spent a half a decade on Team Black Bond, along with Solid Rev, Blackbuster Critic, treating YouTube like a wrestling match, cutting promos on each other. They basically invented the playbook Crap Gamer Follows and the Crumb Side. Along the way, Rich started regurgitating game news to become the e-beggar he is today. Most of these game channels have been on YouTube for at least a decade and all sold out to become e-beggars regurgitating gaming news. It's funny because most of these guys put out their best content years ago when their view counts were low before Patreon during the old YouTube days. Uh, then when they started getting views and subscribers, they all started copying each other regurgitating the same IGN articles and e-begging. All the big Switch channels were retro gamers who, by their own admission, didn't play modern games. E-begging is called out often, but most of these guys don't even play games, ironically, calling out Philip Mnuchin of IGN for plagiarism when they plagiarize each other every day. It's funny because you steal from one person, they call it plagiarism, but when you steal from everyone, it's called research. Great points there, uh, Derek. If you compare early these early YouTubers back then to who they became and who they are, it's basically you know a difference between real people and a business. You know, real people, their real thoughts, their real opinions, and this a business of regurgitating the same exact freaking thing everyone else is saying. You know, it's almost impossible, you know, to actually find a channel. Let's say on something like the analog, say, uh, you know, mini, whatever the heck it's called, you know, console that just came out. You know, if you do a search, okay, if you do a search, guess what's going to pop up? It's going to be all the videos, all the videos of people that got that console for free. How hard is it? Is it going to be to find somebody that's actually legitimately giving you their own unbiased opinion of that console? Very, very hard. How hard is it to, you know, find a story that might actually highlight many differences or many angles about the story and, you know, not just a regurgitated same exact talking points from someone else? You know, you look at Buggy, you look at Rich, you know, you look at Dreamcast Guy, and, you know, it's, it's by design that a lot of their videos are exactly like each other. Um, it's part of a... You know, you could like probably dig a little deeper into that, you know, and believe me, I got my shovel, you know, uh, one person the other day called me a shovel knight, you know, because sometimes I do a lot of digging here. But uh, as far as the, the news and everything or what they consider their channel stuff, they don't have to dig that far. You know, they go to IGN and I wanted to speak on this the other day. Uh, Rich had a video to where, you know, he will regularly come out and he'll apologize. He'll make it a big deal where he apologizes that he got something wrong in a video. You remember you uploaded and he had a very serious tone and I'm like, you know, I'm just, I'm big enough guy where I'm going to admit why I'm wrong. I'm like, you know, but then, you know, what he'll do is he'll blame a freaking article for being wrong. What? Okay. You upload basically an IGN article and then you get called out for it and you know, you won't admit that all you're doing is just uploading articles and just changing the word around a little bit. That's what I call freaking plagiarism. But then if somebody calls you out on it, you're like, Oh, it's the article. It's the article. I'm not responsible for it. All I was doing was just reading the article.